How many likes would you try for the black? We have to at least get a hundred. A right? hundred likes? And we've that's, never not, reached... that's reasonable. What do you mean that's reasonable? We try that thick of a for <laughs> our numbers? Yeah. Yeah, for that, our numbers. That's it. That's impossible. So, okay, we have. <laughs> that's <laughs> currently. <laughs> currently, don't say that. Yeah. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> uh, currently, we have forty-three subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yes. So we only need realistically another, like. 57. 50 yeah. That's not that's not impossible. If if every one of our subscribers shared to at least two people, at least we would we would kill that and number. Just tell them just tell them just like the video if you want to see don't this even guy. Watch it. Don't even watch it, just, just like, like it. it. Just like it. But please watch it too. It, even if you don't watch, just leave it playing in the background. <laughs> Put this in the beginning so that they can get to this part. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll we'll all try the black. This is the teaser. You have to put this section in the beginning. Okay. This is the teaser right this here. This episode yeah. has been brought to you by the Black Boy. <laughs> black Boy. <laughs> the Black Boy. <laughs> What's up? Oh. Well, I mean, we don't have to record right away. We can't allow it to breathe, right? I'm ready. You ready? ready. Alright. And we still got to do a um, talking sip. Or sip talking. I didn't know which one to go with, but. So, uh, Nicole mentioned that, you know, oh, oh, you're putting that away? Yeah? I'll wait until we come back. It is it is the motion, but it's tight now. Albert got himself a professional <laughs> arm stand. No. It's the same arm stand. No, it's literally not. It's not? It has a different knob, but that's the only thing I can see that's different. I think this part is different too. Really? The attachment point? I don't believe so. It, it looks smaller. Different. Didn't we buy them at the same time, like a pack of four? It is slightly different. He bought them, and I think he bought. I think he brought one from that he had extra. Think so? Maybe it's an older model. One. It's just an older model. I got the better one. He bought. He he bought him and uh, uh, choose he the best one. It. Why not? <laughs> oh, uh, do we leave the door like that? Is that fine? I just want some fresh air in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. If it sounds bad, you can let me know. I don't know how we can tell. <laughs> we won't be able to tell until <laughs> it it's too late. <laughs> I know. I don't think there's going to be a difference. I think it'll be fine. It's mostly closed. So, Nicole mentioned because she had watched this movie partially. Okay. And I wanted to cosplay as Bruce Lee. And I was like, yeah, well, it's too bad I can't not wear. I have to wear a shirt. She goes, why? I'm like, because YouTube doesn't. Really care to show nipples on? I mean, you can for educational purposes, but I was like, it's also, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I don't know how you guys. Are, I mean, I get dressed up in pretty ridiculous, some like tight fitting clothing, but I don't think I've ever been shirtless on the podcast before. No, I don't no. Think so. Um, and just like, why don't you do it for some of like your fans, like? Some of the, the <laughs> eye candy, like for ladies or for for some of the guys, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know if it's worth 
getting our video possibly striked down. <laughs> so I, I don't, don't. We don't know for sure. I mean, it, we let's rather not. I'd rather not risk push it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather not risk that. Yeah. So, she just wanted me to violate YouTube policy. <laughs> <laughs> But like fitness videos when you're shirtless is like you're trying to show off certain motions or certain things. Or yeah. Muscular like activation. It's, so it's different. It's, from my understanding, it's pretty inconsistent of their yeah. enforcement of those guidelines. Yeah, for sure. Not See, when he sits fair. like this, he's flexing these muscles. <laughs> <laughs> there, now you can take your shirt off. <laughs> Uh, that was educational. There you go. So you basically chose both movies this week. Or I don't remember. <laughs> basically. When did we end up with that, Enter the Dragon? How, yeah, how did we end up with this movie? How did we enter? I, I mean, how, how did, did we, we enter, enter the dragon? dragon? <laughs> <laughs> how do we choose this? Uh, so How did the dragon enter? July is the month that Bruce Lee died in. So I just figured mm. it would be a good time better time than to, yeah. to continue and finish off we have one more movie to do and then we're done with the Bruce Lee movies yeah yeah that's it that's it unless you guys want to get into like no the final I'm done after game that. of death or no we're done any of the Bruce way of the Lee dragon is the way of return the dragon. of the dragon whatever yeah. it's called <laughs> depending on where you live okay the dragon movie is the last one mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, it, we didn't watch them in complete like release order, mm -hmm. but I tried to. But I thought this would be th the only one we did out of order is Game of Death, right? Game of Death, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and they're not. Um, they're sequels. not connected. No, yeah, they're so. not connected. Game of Death does have a sequel, mm -hmm. very loosely, but you know, you could even doesn't matter. D doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> um, Save that for another time. Were you excited to watch this movie? Yeah. Wait, you've never seen this one? Nope, never. But I was excited, though. He's never seen any Bruce Lee That's movies so crazy before we introduced nope. it. I, I've watched lots of other, and the names I don't know of, other Chinese movies, but never Bruce Lee. Of all the Bruce Lee movies, this is the one my dad watched the most. So I'm kind of tired of watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to affect my rating or anything, but... like. That's your trivia for this movie? Just... I just remember watching this at the very first house we lived in, at the the house that we lived next I to each other. Lived, that we li lived next to each other. Like uh, this, my dad like always does the bolo. bolo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm just like, bro, like, <laughs> I'm so tired of this movie. <laughs> um, Would you say this is your dad's most watched movie? If not. One of the most watched movies. It's between this and Bloodsport. Oh, Bloodsport. Okay. But I, yeah. But I think like my dad definitely does the the bolo thing. I think I've so, heard it before. Yeah, too. probably. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of it's overplayed in your head. Yeah. Okay. Another trivia is this is my most watched movie of all time. I've I've almost watched this as many times as the years I've been alive. Oh my gosh! Yes, yeah. yes. I lost track after about twenty three times, yeah. but <laughs> I, <laughs> but I'm pretty close to be to watching this thirty times. Yeah, that's crazy. It is. It is a crazy fact. Between this. Godzilla 2000 and Spaceballs. That's the like the, my Spaceballs. most watched movies of all time. Out of, out of everything, Spaceballs, Spaceballs is just thrown in there. <laughs> yep. Use the Schwartz. It was the first movie I put. Spaceballs was the first movie I put on my iPod video oh, wow. when I uh, when I was able to rip uh, DVDs to oh, wow. convert to iPod. <laughs> That's a Sunday screen too. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think your most watched movie is? I, Anything he's watched more than three times, <laughs> probably. I Literally, don't, I this don't guy. watch a lot of movies, but I mean, I would say like th this is my favorite Bruce Lee movie so far. Okay, not the answer we were looking for, but I like I that know. answer. <laughs> but, like I, I like, like, wait a second, my head. That, that's know. not the, that's not the question I asked. <laughs> I know. It's I just okay. wanted to jump on what you guys were saying about yeah. watching this movie a lot, but uh, yeah. All dogs go to heaven. Watched. There we go, right there. I don't know. <laughs> 
I, <laughs> that before time, all dogs go to heaven. <laughs> all dogs go to heaven. No, I've only seen that like three times. That's it. That's all you yeah. need. <laughs> it, it meets the requirements. <laughs> I probably nightmare before Christmas. Like that's interesting. Like Why, were you six like or seven five? Times? Oh, six or seven. I that's... think for me, it's Remember the Titans. Like I think yeah. I've watched that at least like half of my. You know how you said you watched this like half of the years. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like half the years. Like 15, I think I've seen Remember the Titans like to... 15, 16 times. Dang. I don't think people. You think people watch their favorite movie a bunch of times, or they don't get past like ten for most movies. I, don't I think know. it depends on the person. Yeah, people Cause... do. People obsess over like things or ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, depends. Yeah, like I don't know. Just every now and then, especially if it's like something. If I'm bored and there's nothing to watch and there's nothing to do, I'm just like I'll just put on Remember the Titans. Like at least that's a fun time. Like so. Yeah. And I think some people, some people do that. I know, like, like Brianna used to like watch a crazy amount of The Office. Like, oh man, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen it all the way through, but I knew people that would watch The Office. There's, there's really good stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. there is. I'm not a fan. So. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. There, I mean, I if, if you saw some of the cringier <laughs> episodes, I could see why you're not a fan. So. <laughs> And there's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. yeah there's, a lot. there's a lot of ones, but like most of it's good. You couldn't make that comedy again in today's age I for mean, some episodes. Some, I feel like that's any, you could say that about a lot Anything, of stuff between yeah. the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. I wish the there'd be more. Old. No, not the 90s, no. Oh. I meant like stuff made in the 90s. Oh. Yeah. Or even any time period, really, but. Yeah, the people push the envelope move on. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Times change. Yeah. What was acceptable back then is not now, and vice yeah. versa. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm still gonna watch what I want to watch. Well, yeah, I don't think anyone could really stop you there. <laughs> oh, I finally, I finally did it. I yeah. finally bought the most banned movie in the world. Oh, what's that? Uh, the most banned mainstream movie in the world. Mm. Hannibal, uh, Hannibal Holocaust. Okay. No, Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust. Okay. I found it at Z Records. Okay. I paid 30 bucks for yeah, that. Yeah, you sucker. mentioned it. Yeah. You mentioned that movie, but I forgot about it. Yeah, it's... I understand why it's banned. Is it a Holocaust denial movie? No. It is a found found film... Okay, found footage doc, film? Found footage document, documentary style movie mm. that... It's pretty graphic. Um, gore or very gory okay sad to say they killed live animals while filming this wow it's and those scenes are very probably the most grossest scenes i've seen on yeah of a film i can i couldn't eat for a couple hours after yeah. watching so you you could see why it was banned for sure um the realistic i mean the the real killing of animals and the realistic effects, visual effects that they did mm. with makeup and props and everything uh, got the director and the producers in hot water because mm-hmm. he told that he told the actors to lay low after the film's release. Oh boy! And so then the like, police got involved and then they had to like come out and say, "Okay, well, like we're actually like." alive this is not a real documentary yeah so it, it's wow th- i found out about this movie when we watched the fourth kind and like that style mm-hmm. of movie and this was the movie that like pioneered that style of found footage mm-hmm. yeah which is crazy okay yeah I, we won't i don't think we ever watched it for the podcast i will never watch just it. based no. on like how gross yeah it, what it you're is. saying yeah I it's know if, i don't yeah. want to see it yeah i did i did not for everyone I would agree. Yeah. From that sound. Okay. Let me go ahead and introduce this movie. Blood uh, and Steel? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, it's directed by Robert Klaus. The tagline is, their deadly mission to crack the forbidden island of Han. Forbidden? 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 <laughs> Did I say forbidden? Yeah, I don't, I th- I don't know. Uh, working titles, Blood and Steel, Han's Island, and the Deadly Three. You're the Enter the Dragon the most? 
Or are deadly you think three? I'm confused. Why do you mean? Who are the deadly three? <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, Bruce Lee, John Saxon, Jim Kelly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> deadly as in like one was one's dead, one's dead. <laughs> um the budget estimated at or probably not estimated it is estimated it, it is, is estimated right? yeah i think i saw that at, i put that in my outline. it is estimated yeah i didn't put it in there eight hundred and fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars yeah released in hong kong july 26 1973 uh u.s uh, august 17th 1973 a runtime of one hour and forty two minutes, rated R. Box office worldwide. There's, there should be million. That's not. <laughs> there's a missing zeros behind that. Oh, just under a hundred and fifteen million million dollars. Not thousand. Wow. <laughs> um, That's a lot. Yeah. Purchase only. Uh, so it's not streaming. It's not really streaming. Yet. Yeah, you have to buy it. Whether it be Vudu or whatever DVD, Blu-ray, you have to buy it. I rented it on YouTube. Though. I have it on Voodoo. I was too lazy. You were too to lazy log in. To, to log in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, it's like four bucks. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. So let's have a six word summary of the movie. Go ahead, Albert. All right. I've got Bruce Lee's best with supporting cast. Uh, I feel like compared to his other movies, this supporting cast is. Interesting enough that I care about these characters in a way. Maybe Williams the least because his backstory is like non-existent. But I liked this movie a lot with the action, the plot they're trying to do, yeah, the motives that the characters kind of have. It was it, like at least somewhat believable to be in the moment and have fun with these characters going and experiencing the island. Yeah. Me or you next? I'll go next. Um, mine is nostalgia will always elevate this movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's so you're a little biased. I'm a little biased. Yeah. Like I think that the more I watch this movie, the more I like, <laughs> the more I don't like it as much yeah. as I did when I was a child. But there's just parts of it that like just really bother me. Like we'll get into it. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead, Jesse. My salad sip is dragon enters powerfully. Exits too soon. Mm. Yeah, Bruce Lee's breakout American role, and then he dies a week before the movie is released. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. crazy. I always think of what movies Bruce Lee would have been in if he had lived. Yeah. I think The Matrix would have been like a good movie. Oh, man, that'd be crazy. That'd be so awesome. So awesome. I'd be as over the time. I think that I don't think Bruce Lee was the greatest actor. I think he was a phenomenal martial artist and right. ability to express like motion. But I think over time people will get a little bit better and he would have like matured as an actor yeah. and had different roles. I think he would have been in some interesting movies. How old was he when he got? Thirty two. So basically our age. <laughs> he would have been fifty when the Matrix was yeah. created. Yeah. The office job, he could do it. And then you're in a computer world. Like, it doesn't matter your age, right? Strength and speed is not, like, physical strength is not what you need in the Matrix. It's all up here. Mm -hmm. So, they could have done something even now. Like, Keanu Reeves, how old is Keanu Reeves right now? 50-ish, maybe? 40s, late 40s? Like, if he did it today, that's not the purpose of the movie is the physicality of someone. It's, can you break out? Can you think differently, right? Mm Mm-hmm breaking your own barriers. So I think Bruce Lee would have been even like 60. That'd have been cool to see. Yeah. If you, if you can act that well physically or have stunt doubles help you with that, people do it all the time. Samuel Jackson and all the Marvel movies. Yeah. He would have been old man running. Old man running. Old man running. (laughs) Old man running and a young buddy. Oh man. Yeah. That that scene was interesting. (laughs) Uh, Let's go ahead and rate this movie. And then we have a fun little surprise for Albert. Oh, we can do that right afterwards? After we rate it, yeah. Oh, okay, Albert. awesome, awesome. Uh, rating? Yeah. yeah. Um, Probably a nine for me. It's pretty good. I think 
I think this is a eight. Eight. Bias and bias eight. <laughs> bias eight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is legendary for me. I've always loved this movie. Yeah. Uh I understand the shortcomings, the the bad some of the bad acting, the b- plot, but it doesn't matter to me. It just I love this movie. Obviously I've watched it thirty close to thirty times. Mm-hmm. Um I watch it almost every year, and obviously more than more than that. But yeah, mm-hmm. since I've since I'm watching it, I've watched it on average once or two times a year. So mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, Bruce Lee's my biggest inspiration. Uh, what why I w- went into fitness as opposed to engineering, which I originally wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So big influence. The influence. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so, okay. In order for Albert to taste the sip, he has to pass a special test. Oh Ooh. boy. What does that mean? Well, you, we're all going to be doing this, but not Albert just first. Albert first. What is it? Okay. All right. So, in the spirit of martial arts movies, we're going to have Albert break a board okay we're all gonna be breaking boards <laughs> okay <laughs> so we're gonna have to set up the camera or move the table a little bit i think bit. you're fine where you are right? really does, does he need to stand like he will i think to generate the power do you want to try it not standing i think we should do a standing i, mean, I, could pro- I should probably then stand. you should could stand. probably just move the table, table a, little bit. a little bit yeah and then we don't really need to talk yeah i can just i can talk Albert stands up and uh, Jesse holds the board for him. How does it uh, it look? I can't tell because you're in the way. Okay, so I guess I'll need any explanation. I'm the one holding it. Just punch it. Just punch it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, I know how to throw a punch, so. Yeah? Well, this one's meant for children, so. (laughs) I can tell. I don't think you want splinters in the room. So how 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 high can we go with Albert? Oh boy! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Albert. I thought I just wanted you to break one board. Oh, that, that I'm like I'm like I flinching. You you try the next one or no? Okay, let's go. <laughs> just go straight to the the thick one. No, that's. I heard that's pretty impossible to break. Oh okay. Oh, almost. <laughs> almost. 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 That's pretty good. You want one more, one try? more try? I wasn't expecting it. Dang. Okay. <laughs> He's so good. Dang. The the foam is like not completely separated, so. Yeah. Okay. Not separated that way. Oh, the first time it broke? Yeah, okay. I guess. But I mean, the other one, they were all separated. Okay. You want to try? No. 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 I, mean, I, I had to do it. Yeah, but I. Fun fact: I punched the boards already. Oh, you punched okay. the yellow. I t- one. I punched the the, the you small. You punched the child board. I punched the child board. <laughs> okay, so you made it weaker for me. Yeah, I'm weaker than Albert. I should have I should have cut that better, but and now it's gonna stick to itself. I do want to try the red one at least. I think you should try the black one. You think I should try the black one right away? <laughs> yeah. I definitely won't be able to break it. But we can you, try. You, you probably want to do the red one first. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do want to do the red one. Um, you want to hold it, or sure. who wants to hold it? We all. All right. So, so you're standing correctly. When when Nicole held this for me yesterday, she was not oh, staggered, was... and I almost I almost punched her off her feet. So <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Nicole. All right, so shoulder height, and you want to my shoulder or your shoulder? Uh, we're pretty I similar know, okay, in okay. height, but don't lock out your, your arms, yeah. right? <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, I don't know if I, <laughs> I always want to punch from, like, Bruce you want to be Bruce Lee I so badly, him, but I don't know. I definitely will be able to break it. We'll try it though. We'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Better, yeah. better holding it. I wasn't sure how hard to grip it. Oh, you want to grip it as hard as you can. And then. I mean, we're not kicking, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't punch it like that, but we'll we'll try it this way. If I can't break it, I'm gonna be sad. 
does I feel like punch. I feel like you're scared to hit it. Like you feel like I'm scared to hit. Yeah, because you keep going off to the side. Let me let me try this again. There See, you you're fine. Yeah. You were like you were you were. Either you're scared to hurt Albert, or you're just I don't scared know. to hit the board. I don't know. Like after your experience with Nicole, maybe that kind of like threw you off. Maybe I definitely don't think I can break the black one. That's that's thick. That's a thick board. It's a thick. Board. It's a thick ass board. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. I'm glad you guys got to experience that. Well, maybe after you don't the want podcast. To push the red one? No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> it's I'm, all I'm a lover, now. not a fighter. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I know that from experience. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right, Albert, you can, you can go ahead and uh, <laughs> try John, the sip. John does not get a drink. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just work. Icy flavored. Icy Ooh. the um, competitor to Slurpee, if you know what that is. <laughs> what? You know what that is? An Icy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the gas stations. Much. Where's yours? Oh, okay. <laughs> I found these. Uh, or I found this at Five Below. Oh yeah. Five Is there Below one has like some like very different assorted candies that you don't normally find in Dr Pepper Peeps. I've seen those. Did we try them? I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but I've seen those at Five Below. Okay. Blue for Enter the Dragon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Blue raspberry. It was really sweet. That's really sweet. Even though there's zero sugar. So is something sweet without sugar? Like I can, it's really f- forward tasting. <laughs> it's a big boy. Yeah. It's my phone. I can see that. What's up, Albert? Yeah, it's very <laughs> forward tasting, and then the aftertaste is not bad, but it does not taste like a blue raspberry icy for me. No. It tastes like the the syrup for it, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but, I mean, it's not close enough for me. No. No. I haven't had one in a long time. Albert gets some every now and then when we go to the movies. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see nice. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> uh, what would you rate it? Like a two. Yeah, I wouldn't drink this. It's an off tasting at least, but it's not close enough to an icy for me to want to drink this in a case where I want an energy energy drink at the same time. Mm. Yeah, it's a two. And it, because it has zero sugar, I wouldn't drink it. I mean, no, not because it does. it has zero sugar, but it says artificial sweeteners. Right. I mean, at least it's not... It's not the bad. It's bad. not bad tasting. Yeah, but knowing that it has artificial sugar. Yeah, I I prefer either it's no two, sugar, but no, with no <laughs> what? <laughs> two but not good. <laughs> I prefer either drinking water or actual sugar mm-hmm. versus artificial. Yeah, sweeteners. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's. I agree with you guys too. It's not like a horrible flavor. It's not but off, but it's not icy flavored. Yeah. At all, it's just blue. I it, it's I really guess, sweet too. Like it's too sweet. You think it's sweeter than tasting than like the actual icy? Mm. No, the syrup is pretty sweet too. Yeah, okay. but like it's not. If it was at least tasting as the same flavor as blue icy, then it'd be fine. But yeah. it's not even close. I feel. I I don't think I've had a blue icy. I'm thinking of like the rocket pops. They have oh, similar yeah. flavors or no? They do. Yeah. Okay. It's sugar. I mean, Maybe if I had it side by side, I could say differently, but for memory, it's not the same. Yeah. All right, Jesse, let's go ahead and get into your trivia. <laughs> Tri- <laughs> trivia. Sorry. Trivia. It was a lot of trivia, but yeah. I just put like six points. All right. So trivia. This is the first Chinese martial art film produced by a major Hollywood like studio. Yeah, Warner Bros., right? Warner Brothers, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, this is an interesting thing I didn't know about. So... The film, I, most Bruce Lee's films, like this one, is recorded without sound uh-huh. except for a few scenes. I, so I noticed. There's a few scenes that are added back from like a re-release mm. oh, in really? 1998 
One of these scenes, Brucey did not record dialogue. Obviously, he died in 73. Mm-hmm. And John Little was used to dub Vo- Bruce Lee's voice. Can you... Do you know which scene? It's a pretty iconic thing that people will quote from this movie, and it's not Bruce Lee's voice. Boards don't hit back. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be able is to it tell. The, I don't think the the philosophy stuff at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. So it is the scene with the abbot, and what is the highest technique you hope to achieve? Mm. I have no technique. So I don't know how, but there is dialogue from Bruce Lee. So maybe they do record dialogue, and then they just dub it over because it just sounds better. Mm-hmm. So there is a scene with Bruce Lee actually saying it, but the quality is not great. Mm. So the quality of the recording, the col- quality or? of the recording is not okay. great. Not not his acting. Okay. It, it's pretty. It's similar in yeah. the way it acts, but it's exaggerated a little bit mm-hmm. compared to Bruce Lee. But I I never knew that. So that scene is John Little, from what I researched. Um, and just I guess a question, throughout his movies or this movie, when he makes his kias and stuff like that, is that him or is that after the fact in editing, um, do they purposely enhance that to just make him more like more cartoonish? There was a trivia, I don't know where, but they used animal noises mm-hmm. for some of his. But it okay. doesn't sound. I don't know. Uh, I think this is one of the only movies that uses his actual like battle cries. Mm-hmm. But there was trivia that they used animal noises in really? addition to okay. and i will have to research that more okay uh and i just swiped away my app okay uh so bruce lee did not show up for several days to set uh i have also heard that it was a couple of weeks so i don't know what's true due to nerves because how big this project was mm, okay um the first scene that bruce lee f- shot was with betty chung bruce lee had a nervous a nervous twitch that made it, they had to use different angles and stuff to get around that really yeah but uh i have heard from unofficial unverified sources that the twitch was not a nervous twitch but it was actually a drug related uh tick a tick yeah. yeah so what was the tick whether it was drug related or mental uh it was a physical cocaine twitch i mean like his face <laughs> i'm asking is it his uh, face is it's it his it face i think part? it's his face okay. um that was having some reaction okay so yeah kind of i mean that was more i don't know if it was more prevalent but i don't know mm, okay i don't know in high school i was so stressed like i had like a twitch in my eye did you sleep a lot in high school no no i used to get that in my it's eye so frustrating same yeah yeah. All right, the two more and we'll be done. Cool. The feast scene was shot over 3 days. The food was never changed. There was so much stuff happening in that scene. Yeah. Uh William's disgust is real. Oh wow. Because the food is rotting. So he's looking he opens that lid and it's rotting food probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean even the chicken that was offered to him or whatever. It looked yeah. like chicken feet, I think. It looked yeah. nasty. Yeah. So it shot over three days. So it just progressively got stinkier. Oh, man. <laughs> that in sounds so gross. With like 50 people in there dancing. And with lights and heat yeah. and everything. Ugh, that sounds gross. Uh, and the last little fun and fact. And the bird poop. <laughs> and the bird poop. <laughs> uh, Jackie Chan plays two of Han's henchmen. <laughs> he he has a role in here. That's cool. Uh, so a cameo of Jackie Chan. Samuel uh, Hung. Uh, he was the Shaolin guy at the beginning fighting bruce lee the oh, chubbier really? shellen guy and then uh the, oh, the yeah. third trio that reminds me of you and uh in mills on wheels he's also part of the stunt team as well wow so yeah they it skyrocketed their oh yeah careers, so it's awesome yeah that's awesome that's but cool that's cool that's all the trivia i have for this movie nice that was a lot i have more <laughs> but it, Let's go ahead and get to the characters. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Lee plays the... Wow. Mr. Lee. 
John <laughs> Sackpon, because Jesse's uh, typing is pretty poor in this outline. Sexton. Sex. Sex. Sex pawn. I'm just going to read it. Just has. Uh, has uh, Jesse no, has please say the right plays, name. Plays uh, Roper. <laughs> Jim Kelly plays Williams. Uh, how do you say it? Kind C, probably. Kind she? Plays Kine Han. She? Betty Chung plays Mei Ling. Uh, Yang Shizi plays Bolo. Yeah. You know the trivia? Bolo's, Bolo Young. He adopted his name after this movie. Yeah. Really? That, <laughs> that's how. Name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bolo is such a cool name. Bolo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go ahead and get into the likes, dislikes, and everything in between. Would you agree with Albert on this movie? About what? Is this your favorite Bruce Lee movie? I think so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He doesn't... Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of hard. What would, what would your other choice be? If you had to pick one. Uh, probably the, another iconic scene is, why you killed my teacher, Matt? Why? Like that. that one. So <laughs> yeah, like Chinese, Chinese connection. connection. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that used to be my least favorite one. And like, I think all of his movies are kind of like more similar in quality now. Um, obviously this one I, I think has an unfair advantage compared to the other like Chinese like Chinese mo- Chinese movies ones, yeah but um, this one has a little bit of an unfair advantage but I do like this one a lot mm-hmm. uh, I I wish that the game of death was finished because I think I would have liked that one more than this one right yeah but it's unfortunate but yeah, I can really see the, that in every can, podcast. Yeah, yep, every podcast. <laughs> Pretty much. I can. But yeah, I can see the production value into this compared to the other movies. Yeah, and and it works. Yeah, he has some iconic lines in this. Yeah, what's your favorite one? Boards <laughs> don't hit back. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but they do. I learned today. <laughs> that was more Albert than your fault. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think I've only held a board like that like over ten years ago. So. Did you used to do martial arts? For like two years during university. During university? Yeah. Interesting. I never knew that. I you mean, know. yeah, I mean yeah, we didn't really hang out back then, so um yeah. what <laughs> what um Whose fault was that? I know, I mean, yeah. It's not anyone's fault. I know. We were all busy. <laughs> <laughs> what martial art did you do? I don't remember what it was called. Was it not like a karate or it was like karate? Basic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why do you do that? Just something physical to do. Was it part of classes, university, or just no, for fun? Just for fun. Or, or like for myself, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's where you learned how to punch. Uh, Sooner than that. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I also took classes back in middle school. Oh. And what about your brother? Did he ever get oh, into the any martial arts? Just, just what was required in middle school. Oh, is required it in was middle like school? It was like a PE class. Oh, yeah. I wish we had martial arts in middle school. Yeah, we were lucky we had anything. <laughs> I, yeah. Our school was so poor. Yeah. I also skipped a lot of the physical stuff, so I never really like was physical for a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It was it was PE. When 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 they gave us choices, it was PE or you had keyboarding, choir, uh not choir, uh Band, band, mm. and then like two art things. Yeah. And so it was like PE was like one of five choices, and the others yeah. were all indoor stuff. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I guess harder to do when you're in Arizona, so to what do did, more outdoor. outdoor what stuff. did you typically do? Sorry, to cut you're you good. That's it. The first time, the first time I got keyboarding, and then I got PE the second time. Mm. I'd rather, yeah. I mean, I'd rather obviously do PE. Yeah. And but it sucks. Did they did they make you choose a different one? You had to have. You remember we had to rank them. Yeah. So if like so, no one would all be in PE. Like, hmm. they had to like 
spread, spread them out. Yeah. Interesting. I did art every semester. I don't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Good job. That, not everybody wanted to do art. That so was great. Do it again. <laughs> um, Give it again. Yeah. It's me again. Uh, <laughs> More art. <laughs> keyboarding. Keyboarding was cool, I guess. I didn't want to like do it. It didn't sound like, like it. I am play. This was after I broke my wrist too, so I could play at things with my right hand. But then when it when I had to use my left hand, it was just like mm. there's no way I'm doing no it. no coordination there. No coordination anymore. Did you learn? Did you learn keyboarding in that class, or did you know how to use a computer before? Wait, are you talking about musical? Musical, musical keyboarding. Oh, I was like, wait, I'm okay, very. Confused. I wasn't sure if it was piano or if it was. Computers. It was basically piano. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. My bad. I was like, wait a second. Like, <laughs> oh, you said keyboarding. So like, that's sure. not the keyboarding I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn anything. <laughs> we were in Mr. Shaw's class in elementary school. <laughs> I, I I wasn't sure what you were. No, talking it was about. piano. Okay. Piano. Yeah. But a keyboard. That's a keyboard. Um. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I All don't right. like it. No. I just, I just like, n- at that time, just not a very creative person. You feel like you've gotten more creative over the years? More creative in, like, writing and coloring, but yeah, I don't think I'd choose an actual art class or, a, like, I definitely wouldn't choose a musical class. Mm-hmm. But didn't you say you wish you were more I wish I could draw and... more, but, like. You can draw more. Just draw more. I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he also like, wishes. But we're talking about back then. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, I didn't care for I, any of those things. Yeah. I think as we grow older, we understand. Yeah. We should diversitize more in Diversify. our skills. Diversify. Uh, diversification. Diversity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. What? Do, how did we get to this? Uh, oh him! My cur- my martial arts, martial arts extracurricular from a while ago <laughs> activities. Yeah, because then you said uh, you wish we had that option in oh, elementary right. school. Yeah, yeah. There was no way. Yeah, we didn't have any sports teams either. Like we had a basketball team my our our eighth grade year, mm-hmm. but they just couldn't they couldn't afford that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like our our basketball uniforms for the basketball team were all like different colors. Like they weren't. Should I donate this to our middle school? I uh, think you're needing more boards <laughs> than that. <laughs> There's are four. They we got still, like are they even still around? Yeah, they're still around. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised too. Like, you, you know, it's crazy too. Like, what's crazy? Is that for as poor as our school was, we had a lot of kids going to university high. Yeah. That's good. A lot of yeah. kids that were like in the advanced programs and Yeah, this is pretty surprising. Maybe we just don't remember all the other people. <laughs> no, I feel I, I honestly feel like we had like a good portion of or at least our freshman year we had a good portion from our school. Hmm. We did have a lot of people when we knew. I mean, because we were like a class of a hundred and there's probably like a 20 or 30 of us from Desert Horizon. So wow. That graduated? Not graduated, oh, but like that the... were like into the program at first. Yeah. And mm. then some of them just drop out because they're lazy or they move or something. Yeah. But 20 or 30 kids in 100 is a lot. Is that how big the cl- class was for freshman year? I felt like it was probably bigger. Mm-hmm. No? I think they're all around 100. Yeah. Because we didn't add too many people after, and we didn't, like, lose too many people. We added some people. <laughs> but not too many people is what yeah. I said. Yeah. Do you know anyone else that joined their sophomore year? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know if we want, we want to leave this in, but... We don't have to. Yeah. You, just, you can say, yeah. How okay. many How many numbers, uh, number-wise? I mean, I know Barry joined at the same time I did. Barry? Yeah. Barry. Wasn't Barry a year younger? Was Barry and Arca? Uh, yeah, he had a Barry younger, was ours. He oh. had a younger brother. Larry. And then Jerry was the other brother. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. But <laughs> they do have a sibling named Terry. I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I, I believe you. <laughs> I, 
I know, but John was joking <laughs> by the time I said Larry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew I knew Larry. Okay. It's just funny to me. Like, <laughs> okay. Was it that name, Jerry? I don't know that part. <laughs> you don't like even st- know. They could. We could just be making up names right now. They don't even know. <laughs> You had Barry, Larry, and what was Harry, the, what was and the, the mom's dad's name? name was Stu. Oh. <laughs> Just mom's name was Mary. Mary? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, anyway, I'm, back to the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got names wrong. <laughs> it's okay. They're fine. They'll be okay. They don't watch this. <laughs> but they do. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Larry might. <laughs> really? I don't know. Do I you mean, still talk to them? I, I tend to... De- Tangentially talk to Tuan, and then I think he might talk to Larry. I don't know. Hmm. We just seen Tuan. Tuan. Uh, wait, what's his name? Tuan. Tuan. Why oh, did I feel like I said that wrong? No. Uh, we've seen him before, right? It was at a party. Uh, one of the twins' party, I think. Recently, maybe. I don't, I don't Orlando's think house. Tuan would have been there. Oh, he was, Tuan. Doesn't he play Smash Bros? No, that's no. um. Anthony. There's Anthony. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> They all look alike. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> uh. Might as well just <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we like about this movie? Yeah, I I still, and I say this about almost every Bruce Lee movie, I still love how they keep the action in frame without cutting away from it. Yeah. That most of the time they you see punches and kicks land land yeah. even it's though they might not actually be landing but they, they're in frame convincing yeah they're decently. in frame instead of cutting on the impact of a punch or a kick yeah they keep yeah. the action like as long as they can to make yeah. it interesting yeah do they what's up do they do people bruise that quickly uh, no. I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. Right? The blood you have to break the yeah. vessel, right? The blood, blood has to go into it. It's not like <laughs> it's not like that, right? Uh, you can blood if you break someone's bone. Obviously, it's gonna right. It can it can break skin or and a you cut can get it. Have blood. Yeah, but it's not like capillaries, stuff like that. Smaller vessels, yeah, not a lot of pressure. Time to. I it. asked a simple yes or no question, guys. Like no. <laughs> Doesn't happen that fast. Thanks. <laughs> Goodness. Sorry, we're a little we're, too. We'll see the bruises on my hand in a couple hours. <laughs> well, strengthen your hands. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't punch stuff very often. <laughs> we'll make it a we'll make it a ritual. We just break boards before okay. the podcast. All right, there we go. <sighs> Continue with what you were saying. Wait, what was I saying? <laughs> I was just answering your bruises, question about bruises. bruises. <laughs> You were saying how you like how they keep the action in. Oh yeah, keep the action in, and um, I kind of, well, kind of separate thought was I like the slow build up to getting the journey to the island. Of Roper and Williams kind of seeing the slums of Hong Kong. Yeah. And like, basically slow r- boat ride to the um, junk ship that was going to take them to the island. Yeah. Think. Uh all the character interactions are pretty interesting. Uh, obviously, Bruce Lee stills the movie. Yep. Um, another trivia: John Saxon thought he was the star of the movie and acted like he was the star of the movie. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. But I think that it just helps his character so much. It helps his character too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another piece of trivia: John Saxon's character was supposed to die instead of Williams, but his agent did not want that to happen, so they switched the roles. So uh, it was supposed to be Jim Kelly at the end with Bruce Lee versus John Saxon, from what I've read. Mm-hmm. So very interesting. Mm. But yeah, the, I guess the down part in the beginning is the flashback for Williams. Yeah, they're either it's, for me it's either missing something like why do I care that he's going to this tournament? Like what's his motivation? What's the motivation? Yeah, versus. Roper, I can kind of see like money might be a thing for him. Oh, well, I mean, I think they're both just escaping their actions, the consequences. Well, Will- Williams is like a 
like a one instance type of deal. Yeah. If you assault a police officer, you're escaping. Right. Like, but the, in the moment before, right before that, why did he want to do this? Other than like, if yeah. it's for self, like realization of what he can do. Yeah. Then show me that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that, uh, but. Yeah, that's why I like. I just feel like his character is the weakest of the three. Yeah, yeah. And I motivation wise. When, so yeah, when you say like the the movie title was Dead, the the deadly three. Yeah, like, yeah. He's definitely he's deadly, but he's dead. That's why he's deadly. <laughs> I mean, he could be deadly, but we don't see that. Yeah. Maybe. We only really see him fight like once or twice too. Twice, I think. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, eh. He's deadly in other ways. How many ladies did he have to choose to? <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the deadly venoms. <laughs> He's one of the deadly venoms. And he, that was when he was tired. So <laughs> yeah, snake venom. I'm a little tired. Please forgive me if I forgot someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have we watched that one yet? No. Oh, we haven't watched that. This probably has one of the better kung fu movie endings of, <laughs> from what I can remember of most kung fu movies. It's a pretty, for it's me, a, pretty standard <laughs> ending. It's, it's definitely better than. Oh, we found the map. Let's go and uh, yeah. to the treasure, and then they end before they get there. But I think it's it's what's not not a subpar. What's the opposite of subpar? Above par, super par. <laughs> <laughs> what's another uh, prefix to get a something greater? Uh, I don't know. Super ultra par. Extra par? Over par? What no. is your point? <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to say it's a better ending than I uh, think most Kung Fu movies right. of that time. Not a hard bar to beat. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the action's great. I think Bruce Lee, for what he's given, he does okay. But he shines in his martial arts. Mm-hmm. Uh, the director was in charge, obviously directing the actors and everything but Bruce Lee in when there was an action scene it was written as follows Bruce Lee chore- choreography so that's cool yeah he is uh wasn't given a writing credit so he's uncredited for writing and he's also a pretty big part of the choreography right i think he was credited for something like that action choreography or maybe something like that i missed that part whether it was the beginning or the end yeah I just get too excited to watch the movie. I don't really read the credits. Right. Oh. Yeah. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Yeah. It's yeah. Bruce Lee again. <laughs> there he is. He's alive. I love him. <laughs> He's not dead to me. He's not dead. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, I think a lot of movies have copied this formula. Mortal Kombat has taken stuff from this mm-hmm. tournament style. Obviously, this has been done before, but I think it's blew up afterwards blood sport balls of fury which we're reviewing next week um <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's a really satirical movie in yeah general. yeah we're not reviewing it next week <laughs> uh, okay we can just watch it and talk about it later. we just watch it yeah we just we'll just record it on our own that would be yeah done. that's fine jesse and albert yeah episode <laughs> we're just gonna play ping pong at the same time we're talking about this movie <laughs> If we play That's ping how we pong, get John to do if it. we play ping pong, will you watch the movie? <laughs> no, dang it! He won't even make boards with us. He's, <laughs> he won't play ping pong. What a party pooper! <laughs> what do you like about this movie? Um, what do I like? I I just think like for me, it's just the nostalgia of it. Yeah, uh, I it, I enjoy like. I wish they would have kind of showed more of like Roper and Williams gambling, especially because that that one scene where he's fighting the the pigeon. Yeah, he's like, I got a real pigeon of a guy, and <laughs> and then like he he gets hit, and he looks at Williams, and Williams just like, <laughs> no taker. Yeah, and then he gets hit again, and then the guy is like trying to get his attention, and he's just like, no, I don't want to talk to you right now. And then <laughs> your offer's too low. <laughs> and then like he gets hit a third time, and he's just like. What's going on? <laughs> like, well, I can't take much more <laughs> of this beating. <laughs> and then he just like completely beats that guy up after. Like right. when they, they finally make the deal, I think that was pretty funny. Um, I don't mu- know much about gambling, but is three? What was eight it? To three. three, eight to three. Is that a common like progression of gambling? 
I mean, you're going to use... I mean, I don't know for sure, but you're going to yeah. use numbers where it's those type of odds. Yeah. You can use you can say whatever odds you want. Yeah. It just makes sense. What You wouldn't say a 4 to 8 because that's the same as 1 to 2. Yeah. But you would say 3 yeah. to 8 because of that sort of ratio so, that you want. So, obviously, to get him, you're giving him a better odds, right? I don't know how that works. Like, Well, okay. So... The reason why Williams is not taking a deal because the other guy is offering too low. Yeah. Of okay. a ratio. Yeah. So he's probably offering like one to two if he's waving two fingers. Yeah. Initially. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when you when you set an amount like for gambling, let's just say it's a hundred bucks for gambling. You yeah, that's that's your bet. Like that's your bet. That's your it's bet. So $100. what does three to three to eight mean? How does that work out? It's the ratio of. <laughs> so it's so the ratio of how much you bet to like your odds of winning. Yeah. Yeah. So if your odds of winning are three to eight, then you can win up to. Shoot. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm figure this at, out. Man. I, I, I don't gamble, so I don't know. I don't sure, either. But I think stats wise, you're just. So, if you... so imagine you bet 300 bucks, you could win yeah. up to 800. Oh, okay. I I I'm pretty I'm probably wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this works. I don't know wrong. how gambling works either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. We'll you probably reach. divide that by the f- the um, I don't eight know. 8 into 3 and then that ratio, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you researching it, John? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always I've always been confused. I've never gambled. I I I've been to Vegas a couple times, but I don't even gamble in Vegas. It means that for every t- so for example, for 7 to 2 odds means that for every two dollars you wager, you could win seven dollars. So every three dollars he wagers, he can win eight dollars. So it's it's for both sides. That's that's the thing. So if you bet, if you bet, uh, ten bucks on this on three to eight on three to eight, then you have the potential to win eight eighty bucks. Am I no. say that again? So if you bet ten dollars and it's three to eight, you have the potential to win eighty bucks. For every three dollars, for every three dollars, oh, for every you can three dollars. So if it's nine, then you have the potential to win twenty four dollars. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. I mean, we could have definitely figured it out if we just did the math for it. Yeah. Because then it's like it's like X, it's one hundred. Yeah. Over X equals three yeah. over eight. Yeah. And then you just multiply and do all that. But yeah. I just. <laughs> Googling it was yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah. 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 We can definitely do the math. I was doing the math and I was like, I'm just going to Google this. Just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so just as long as Jesse's not doing he's, the he's math. Just, he's just betting all the time. Whether it be on prey mantises or fights or he's always just getting into trouble. Yeah. And, he's and just, there's odds. Golf. Yeah. Um, so, so this tournament, Han's looking for obviously talent for advertising across the world. Mm-hmm. So maybe this it's as simple as Williams gets gets an invitation for whatever reason. Maybe he's respected in his martial art, and he's like, like, what else do I got? What else do I have right. in America? Maybe. So let's go there. I don't know if like the pr- what the prize is or if it's just recognition. Right. Maybe. Or this opportunity to do business with Han. Yeah, like who knows? Who yeah. knows? But, but and yeah, it's not really talked about. It's kind of hinted at at yeah. the end when uh, Roper is being shown everything. Yeah. This would be a good movie to, I think, redo modern. A- as iconic as it is, I think they could update it. Yeah. And make like a good. I don't know if there's been ever talks of redoing it to the dragon. I mean, I probably could see people not liking it just because Bruce Lee's not in it. Yeah, or or don't name Enter the Dragon, but in the spirit of, or in the style of this movie, right. I think you could do a good movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty common enough story that yeah. somebody else could redo it with different characters. Warner Brothers, redo this movie. <laughs> yeah. I, w- I would watch the I think the problem is that just people aren't gonna don't want to touch this these products, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, does the Bruce Lee family still own Bruce Lee's image? Uh, yeah, but you don't really need to the image of Bruce Lee. You can just 
have can anyone be the main character going to an island with yeah. other people like you, it's a tournament like when's the last if tournament it's just a movie? tournament then there's not a problem then it's not a problem but yeah if you you're talking you're talking about recreating this movie then yeah if you wanted to market use, it use you? the deadly three or blood and still you can name hans island you can do whatever you want there's already names there i think you could honor play homage to bruce lee in that movie yeah. like what movie recently has like paid homage to homage i don't know how to say it homage homage to bruce lee without like just including him like uh once upon, upon, once upon a time in hollywood Oh yeah, true. that's that's kind of, but also just kind of including him, but kind of like the space movie, just kind of making fun of like the relevant yeah. stuff. But it's not like this was dedicated to or in honor of. I think it's mostly like Satire. stuff that his daughter's working on, like the warrior and stuff like that. But not a big major hmm. studio. I think I think it's time. I think it's time. It's been forty plus years. Do you think fans would take that in and in positivity, or do you think it would just they would think that it's a cash grab? I don't know. I they they did the aim of death. That was a cash grab. I think you could do something that was more respectful mm. and that honored the legacy of Bruce Lee better, mm. especially with if you wanted to go a little bit of CGI to enhance it. I think you can get pretty fancy oh, yeah. with visual effects. I think you could do that. But hoping in the style of more of a Hong Kong movie than yeah, a Hollywood movie. For sure. Not like a Shang Chi like right. that direction. More Jackie what Chan, I wanted Hong yeah, Kong Studios stuff. What I wanted Shang Chi to be versus what it was. Oh man, yeah. That would have been cool. I would yeah. More in a like a even if America didn't do it, like a Donnie Yen like oh yeah raging fire style yeah i would watch that over do you know what no, don't touch your warner brothers give it uh, uh, keep it in hong kong keep it in hong kong <laughs> yeah let's do that kong. i'll watch that i'll watch that it, but today like All there's right. been movies already mm-hmm. made like that that were cash grabs yeah the, Bru- the bruce exploitation films that were right. just capitalizing on his image right so you can do it now do it respectfully I will eat that up. I think I don't know if Bruce Lee fans would. Maybe I think if, if was, they follow those suggestions that you have, yeah. Yeah. Well, who am I? I'm just, don't listen to me. <laughs> I mean, but you're the one that yeah, making telling them to do it. So. Yeah. Do it now. <laughs> you, you make those demands. Do it now. I'll give you money. <laughs> um but going back to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love the tangents that we go on. Makes it more interesting. Not a lot to talk about in this movie besides like the significance that it had. Yeah, I I mean I I did like how they showed the Hong Kong slums of the boats, river boats. Yeah, um, and the feast scene is just a lot of culturally significant things to me. But also they had Japanese sumo wrestlers in the middle, so that yeah. was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had to fly them, and those are the biggest sumo wrestlers they could fly over. <laughs> I don't wow, know why. Okay. Not very big sumo wrestlers, but I mean, but yeah, maybe junior sumo wrestlers are that big yeah. nowadays. But yeah, they're still su- doing sumo, or yeah, trying to for what yeah. they can without actually doing it and pushing each other off. Yeah, it's more entertainment than anything. But yeah, like just the chaos of all those hap- yeah, all of those things happening in the same room. It's just a distraction, right? Yeah, they're showing just... off the opulence. Yep, yep. So. And apparently it's one of his B parties, not even an A party. Yeah. What's an A party? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. A party. They bring out the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't like how certain, like, parts of this movie are. I'm Which just going to Like, I, I don't like how they have the, the subplot of the sister. Because it's kind of useless. It's useless. It's I also motivation. hate how he, the guy's like tells her to run, and yeah. then she she looks back, and she doesn't run until they start chasing her. Yeah, until like, after. Yeah, she she deserved to die at that point. And she no. slipped on the very very obvious mat thin 
line of mat and dust and yeah. dirt. <laughs> it's like that's a little too obvious there. You could have perfectly square, rectangular pile of dirt for to slip on. Yeah, and then like it just uh, uh, accumulates to the point where like Bruce Lee ends up fighting the guy that was very a, coincidental. Yeah, and I don't know. Like, there's no real fight there. He just basically beats his ass. That's that's your problem with most Bruce movies. Bruce Lee movies is he's, he's an unstoppable force. Yeah, yeah, but more so in this one because he doesn't even get he doesn't even get touched in that fight at all. Like, yeah, yeah, he gets flipped once and kicks the guy. I mean, yeah, it flips, but then he uses that to his advantage. Yeah, his martial arts is the point of spiritual insight. Yeah, <laughs> and he talks about having like no opponent. And like all this like philosophical ph- philosophical stuff yeah and then he's just fighting he's just fighting <laughs> yeah and it's just like are you sure like what was the whole point of that like we should just got right into the action that's what i'm saying it could be done a lot better yeah it could be done a lot better nowadays there's no internal struggle there he just killed the man yeah right he didn't have he a didn't need with to that. kill the man yeah he he could have inca- incapacitated him and but yeah, he just kept on going until the job was done. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he probably should have kept him alive. So when the evidence was came, they could have found more connections. Or I don't. I don't probably know. didn't care about that at that yeah. point. If he thinks the guy was a part of his sister's death. Yeah. Um. Even though he already had enough motivation to go to the island in the first place. Yeah. I, I I Bolo like they they make him seem this like really strong muscular guy. Then John four. Saxon just <laughs> he just beats him up, kills him with a three kicks to the balls. Yeah, it's pretty much the weakness of every guy. Yeah, yeah. can you die from? I think you can from a kick to the balls really hard. I don't know for sure, but it's gonna put you out. Yeah, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's not dead, <laughs> and he just has no heartbeat. I don't know. <laughs> no wonder why he's such a menace in blood sport. <laughs> he he got his balls crushed. He got his balls crushed. So that's why it's called blood sport. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Um, there's a lot of ball kicking in this movie. Remember, remember, not just kicking. Punching. Just because I go <laughs> doesn't mean I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> I'd make the same sound. <laughs> Master Tang. Master Tang <laughs> taught us. What, what do you mean, Tang? What are you talking about? Oh, There's that was no last week. Here. That was last week. See, I'm in different clothes. <laughs> um, Just you. <laughs> and then, and then, like, I don't know. What, what are the things that you have a dislike for in this movie? Besides Bruce Lee being invincible, the plot, being too convenient. The the plot I feel it gets more convenient when Han starts fighting. Yeah. More cuts happen. It makes it a little harder to see how Han is fighting. Yeah. There's more close ups on Excuse body me. parts instead of the whole yeah. scene. Yeah, he's an older actor. Right. right. And and they're also trying to hide the fact that it's just his hand behind a cup to attach stuff to it. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you can tell it's an elongated arm. Yeah, it's slightly yeah, it's definitely elongated. <laughs> The 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 scene with the mirrors is so cool. Like it's it such is. such an iconic thing. But it's so disorienting. I don't know where how how don't you see a reflection of a guy? I I mean I mean have you been in like yes. fun houses and stuff? It does. Get, I know what you're talking about, but it's yeah. for a movie scene. It's yeah. not, it's like I don't like being disoriented because Bruce Lee is. Yeah. In the scene, maybe yeah. not in real life, but like it makes sense to me it made sense to me apparently this that uh, that set was designed from a hong kong restaurant they would go to like people would go to yeah infinity mirrors yeah. on the walls yeah. yeah have you guys seen man with the iron fist it's a newer 2010 movie probably not there's a scene very similar to this at, at the as the very end fight yeah it's very dave Bautista's in there uh what's the uh wu-tang clan uh, RZA, RZA. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's uh, Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe, Lucy oh, wow. Liu. Yeah. Oh, that's a 
packed cast. Yeah, it's not a great movie. I mean, it's it's in the level of Hong Kong movies, yeah. I guess. But it's it's a fun movie. Okay, I have it on Voodoo. Okay, both unrated and rated. Oh, we're not gonna watch it, Jesse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, I will. Because <laughs> I already watched La Boy. Yeah, I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so over the top. It's very over the top. Just, it's very over the top. Dude, I mean, Dave Bautista and Lucy Liu and RZA. Yeah. Yeah. His name RZA is not, the main character. Yeah, he's the main character. I That's think he so like weird. funded part of that movie. Like he's a producer on That's it. That's cool. I think I've seen the second one, but I don't remember it at all. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's probably one of the better recent Kung Fu American movies, so it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But made in Hollywood or Hong Kong? I think it's made in Hol- I don't know. Okay. Actually. Okay. I don't know. I know that uh Wu Tang really support like martial arts preserving yeah. older martial yeah. arts movies yeah i used to have the wu-tang app on my phone to watch old art martial what? arts yeah the they movie. have an app they have an app yeah you can just <laughs> watch this it's basically like old films. cable old old chinese movies nice continuously dude okay. it's awesome i don't watch that yeah yeah, they're great. They're not great quality, but I mean, I mean you got to preserve it somehow. Yeah, I mean, I'll take how much something. money do you put into restoring, Ar- archiving? Yeah, archiving yeah. yeah, 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 it's great. Do it again. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say this is probably for sure my favorite Bruce Lee movie, but I do appreciate all the other movies and what they did right. for him and for the industry as well. Right. Yeah. At the time, having a I mean, less today, I think, uh, having a non-white American uh, star was yeah. a risk. People right. weren't open to that. Definitely today, that's very different. Mm-hmm. At least in America, I don't know in, in other countries. Right. I mean, as yeah, as far as like Asians being in more American films, that's yeah. Yeah, definitely started with him. Or sure. I mean, he was a big part of it. Big part of that. Right. Yeah, as, as being the star, not as supporting cast. Yeah, not just a supporting like stereotypical yeah. like mm-hmm. role. Yeah. So that was that was his goal to bring Asians like yeah. more elevated, or more equal with everyone, and then also to bring martial arts to the Western world. Right. Which. Definitely. Yeah. As part of the promotion, they spent like I think a million dollars. Yeah, a lot of money for yeah. promoting compared to the budget of the movie. Yeah, like free classes, martial arts classes, and oh, stuff cool. like that. Yeah, it's wow. big a big part of it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I give a lot of credit to you know Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan doing. Yeah. Doing what they did for sure. We have not watched a lot of Jackie Chan movies, but mm-hmm. there's a lot out there. There's tons. Yeah. I, I think I like more of his older stuff compared to like when he started making more American movies. Yeah, more comedic American ones. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there were comedic ones even when they're... Oh, yeah, but more, the comedic American ones I feel are not as good as the yeah. Hong Kong or... Maybe Rush ones. Hour, which we haven't done yet. I think we should definitely watch... Yeah. Start that. I don't know if we'll watch all of them eventually. Is there four now? Or is there uh, only three? Is there making know, a fourth one? I know there's three for sure. Sorry, I was reading up on Wu Tang Clan because I got lost enough. Sorry, they're making Shrek five. Yes, I saw. Or six or five or five. something. Five, yeah. yeah. Yes, first day. It's so funny. Midnight. It's so midnight release. Oh, okay. I don't Let's know about go. That. <laughs> we'll be in our Shrek costumes. Yeah. As of yet, there's no official release date for Rush Hour Four. There have been talks swirling around the internet with Jackie Chan even mentioning. He's in talks about the script. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, Shrek 5, though. <laughs> yeah, Shrek 5. Did you watch... Did we talk about Puss in, Puss in Boots? I don't no. think we reviewed Puss in Boots. Seen okay, it. I've seen it. Yeah. The yeah, second one, too? Good. Only the first one. Oh, the the second, second one's supposed to be really good. There's a second Puss in Boots? Yeah. 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 The okay. second one. Yeah. I don't remember what the t- subtitle is, but... It has a... Uh, Death or what? The Last Wish. Week? Okay, I'll watch that one. So you haven't seen the first one? Maybe I haven't seen the first. I've seen one of them. Okay. But I think it was the first one. Last Wish was like this year or last year. 
Yeah. 2022. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. two years ago. <laughs> I only watched it this year. Because it's on Netflix, right? I saw it on my plane ride to Japan. It's a lot. There's a lot oh, of Shrek Peacock. movies on yeah. Netflix, okay. I think. I think it's Netflix or Paramount. One of the two. But Peacock. he was saying Peacock. Peacock. Okay. Peacock. They what else? Don't make those what else about this movie? Um, Mr. Legendary Man. The set, the set design is like very iconic, very beautiful. Uh, a lot of labor for Chinese like work because it's just. I think everything was just done. Yeah, all the extras. Yeah, they had a different way of doing things. More like. I don't want to say primitive, but the techniques were very different. Like mm. uh, a lot of like wire mesh and and making mud. Like is very like. Oh, uh, you're talking about the te- techniques to design the set. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and make the set. Yeah, the iron bars in the like prison, mm-hmm. not iron. They're hand carved wood, because wow. it was cheaper than to just buy it or, or yeah. make it. So they just hand Chinese carved. labor. Yeah, is cheap like over there. It's a lot of <laughs> yeah, very yeah, cheap. It's still true back then it's, too. So yeah, so like it's just very like like yeah, especially seeing all the women paddle boats. Like that's really traditional. Yeah, and old people paddling boats just yeah. to get around. Yeah, you got to make your money somehow. And then yeah. that's and you're doing it while you're carrying your baby on your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it the world record for the oldest person? Are they were they Chinese or they I think Japanese. Japanese, but like now na- like the record right now? I think it's uh, Japanese. It's Japanese, but yeah. they just that's a secret to living a long life is physicality, yeah. eating healthier. I think I think that's uh the I mean, style, and, and then you get people in the Western world that still smoke and drink, and they still live to a hundred. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but it's hard to tell. Sometimes. Genetics play a bit a big part. <laughs> yeah. In as of July fifth, twenty twenty four, the oldest living person whose age has been verified is Maria Branius of Spain. Spain. Oh, I mean, olive oil and wine still. So yeah, and one hundred and seventeen years old. One hundred and seventeen. Spanish are known for smoking too. So Dang. the longest documented and verified human lifespan is that of uh, Jean Calment of France, a woman who lived to age one hundred and twenty-two years and one hundred and sixty-four days. Man, hey, that's a long time. That's like 50 years. I don't know why they threw this in there. As females live longer than males on average, yeah, I mean, women that's true. Women predominate in combined records. They didn't have to make me yeah. feel bad. <laughs> well, I mean, we take more risk. Yeah. The way. Yeah, so. We're stupid. We are dumb. I'm a dumb man. Yeah. <laughs> I do dumb things. For pretty lady. For pretty lady. All, all in that in the last movie, just everyone just doing everything for Scarlett Johansson. I'm like, yeah. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I would do so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any like all the time. not smart things for all the time. pretty ladies? All the time. All the Even time. like more recently. Yep. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what was the last thing you did that was you went out of your way or did something dumb for a pretty lady? That's a hard question. Oh really? Yeah. Because it happens all the time. You just can't remember. <laughs> I, I think like uh, your recently. second brain takes over the little brain. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, I think just like recently, like just some staying stuff. to myself more, just not going out as much because of like work and school that it just that consumes my brain capacity. So mm. yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I just think it's part of our nature or society that we uh, <laughs> when you see a pretty lady I think you just I think it's some primitive part of your brain that you are trying to <laughs> procreate <laughs> that you're like you I tend mean, to want to help yeah you want to either <laughs> impress them or yeah. show off to them yeah so <laughs> it's Same just thing. it's hard like I realize like when my my primitive brain like I'm like Especially nowadays when it's a lot easier to live as opposed to you needing to spread your genes like for survival. Yeah. I think there's some part of your brain that like influences you. Yeah. And you're just like, um, do men you're, do you're, don't forget, or... like you're married. Like <laughs> it's not that bad, but like there's some part of you that 
Right. You still you want to do still something. still want to survive. Or show something. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You just had to. I'm very good at, like, not being influenced in, like, mm-hmm. oh, like, some guys are just like, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Back in the day when I wasn't married, it's de- <laughs> definitely, like, People thought I was a player in high school. I don't know how. Same. And I was a and I was how a super they nerd. <laughs> I was a super nerd, but also people thought I was gay in high school too. So people can think whatever they want to think. That's true. Yeah. How, how were you portrayed in high school? Were you? Were you? I don't know. Were you? Do you think you people saw you as nerdy or yeah. as for sure? Definitely. Yeah. But I didn't care that much about it. No. No. You you never. Think you did you ever achieve like a popularity in high school? I mean, if I did, I didn't notice never, it. Never noticed it. Yeah, but I don't think I was looking for that either. No, <laughs> I was pretty popular in high school. You were the most popular of, of the three of us. Yeah, yeah <laughs> of the three of us, you were the athlete. <laughs> why? Why you sh- I should have taken advantage of it, <laughs> <laughs> like in the movies. <laughs> You're you're tall. You're not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, so fun fact. I don't know if she watches these podcasts, but one of my coworkers, like, whenever, like, whatever she... Because I, I work... Because of the field I work in, I work with a lot of, like, women. Yeah. And they they try to get me to go, like, to the bar so I can talk to, to women and, like, get a girlfriend and stuff like that. For some reason, there's this one... Like, whenever she talks about me, like, she tries to, like, give me confidence, and then she instantly takes it away Aww. by saying, like, very, like... like hey. Backhanded compliments. Yeah, and I'm just like... <laughs> Thanks a lot. Like, how do you really feel about <laughs> uh, It's just like... It's just like, why would you say that then? Like, Does she say stuff like that? Oh, you're not ugly, or... Yeah, yeah, kind of <laughs> like that, like... Like you're not ugly, you're not you're not my type of guy, but <laughs> just like you know, was, she so she doesn't want to give you wrong signals. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely, she's not my type of woman either, <laughs> by any means. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's just funny that like that just reminded me of that. Okay. So people say that, and I'm just like, why are you so mean? <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> I do pretty well for myself, I think. Yeah. yeah. I've dated the most attractive women of the three of us. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. That's, that's such a opinionated <laughs> statement. Put all the pictures of all the people we dated and then we'll take a vote. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually... <laughs> You're going to try to get me in trouble here? I'm not going to get you in trouble. <laughs> Maybe I won't say it. I, Nicole doesn't watch these. Uh, you probably had the chance with the prettiest. Yeah. But then you blew it. For Pacific Rim. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy to me. That's so crazy to me. <laughs> what? Yeah, what do you rate her? Uh, of let's see, just out of any woman in the world, or no, I'm just saying, <laughs> of the others, uh, of of the others, that like is. she was probably like, mm, at the time, yeah, probably like a high eight or a nine, yeah. You agree? Yeah, she was very attractive. Yeah, um, very smart. Um, but I think. Goal wise, it was very different. Mm. Yeah, which is fine, but I mean that's a pretty big like yeah. I think. Yeah, like uh, that's a deal breaker right there. If you don't have aligning goals, yeah, whether it be religion or philosophy, Pacific Rim. If, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, she doesn't like Pacific Rim. You ain't part of my life. Out of You're out of here. But I think like stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it could be a deal breaker if it's like a consistent thing throughout like the entire relationship yeah yeah but if it's like if you influence someone like it's it's very natural to when you when you have that connection with someone you start to influence each other and then like they become more like goal oriented or you yeah. know they start yeah. so you never know yeah well, yeah too late now 
It's too late now. Except for friends. You just married. <laughs> 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 he did. <laughs> um, Johnny's a bodybuilder. You know, you know how you know how dumb I just that do things. I think. Yeah. Just, I just do things just to do things. I said the I said some words I shouldn't have said two podcasts ago. But yeah, yeah, I don't really we know. Care. We all, you don't need to say it again. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? I'm, I'm never mind. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm just gonna end this one so we can move on. Okay. Uh, subscribe to us. Uh, this. John's uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little oh, bit. Jugs and plugs. Subscribe to us on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, like, share, comment. What's your favorite Bruce Lee movie? Um, awesome. yep. Is it this one, or yep. is it one of the ones that we watched, or is it the last one we have to watch? Yep. Um. And okay. Uh, <laughs> Good job. Uh, this has been the Legendary Set <laughs> Podcast. Uh, join us next time for Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yep, that's the next. Will this one. be the sip we've been looking for? Comment down below if you want John to break a board in the, uh, an upcoming episode. The yellow one. We have At to least. We have to get 5,000 million likes. <laughs> Dang. At least the blue one. <laughs> I can do the blue one. You can do the blue one. Uh, if I can do the blue one, you can do the blue one. Every three likes. I'll try the black one if we, we get <laughs> enough likes. <laughs> How many likes would you try for the black one? We have to at least get 100. Right? 100 likes? Uh, we've that's, never not, reached... that's reasonable. What do you mean that's reasonable? We try that thick of a board? For our numbers? Yeah. Yeah, for that, our numbers? That's, in, that's impossible. So, okay, we have... <laughs> That's okay. currently, currently, don't say that. Yeah. Nothing is impossible. Uh, currently, we have forty three subscribers on YouTube, yeah. right? Yes. So we only need realistically another like fifty fifty seven. Yeah. That's not that's not impossible. If if every one of our subscribers shared to at least two people, at least we would we would kill that. And just number. tell them. Just tell them. Just like the video if you want to see don't this even guy. Watch it. Don't even watch it. Just, just like, like it. it. Just like it. But please watch it too. It, even if you don't watch, just leave it playing in the background. <laughs> Put this in the beginning so that they can get to this part. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll we'll all try the blackboard. This is the teaser. You have to put this section in the beginning. Okay. This is the teaser right this here. This episode yeah. has been brought to you by the blackboard. The blackboard. The blackboard. <laughs> Smart boards. Smart boards. Classrooms. <laughs> okay. Uh, bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, what the? <laughs> At the same time? Oh. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Do you want to know the story behind this phone? <laughs> yeah, actually, I was curious. You really? Yeah. Should I wait until Albert comes back? He will never watch this episode. Let's we'll we'll start we'll start it off okay with uh, that episode because I have to use the restroom too. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I'll follow you. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Group hug in the shower tonight. <laughs> John laughs off screen. <laughs> <laughs>